Wow. Bad news for Anthony Joshua after a tough fight and a loss to Alexander Usyk. It now appears that Anthony Joshua received eye trauma from all the shots Usyk was landing and it's feared that he has a broken orbital socket. Oh, man. We got to talk about this. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Listen, throw a like on the video if you guys enjoy the content. I really appreciate when you guys do that. And however you found the video, it enables others to find the video just as easy when you guys click that like. Simple gesture, YouTube likes it, and then the fans who are looking for boxing, they like it because they'll be able to find the content better. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. Now, I just watched a good fight, Anthony Joshua versus Usyk. I have a ton of different things that I want to talk about in this video. But first, let's start with just basically the news. The bad news for Anthony Joshua is looks like he sustained some type of eye trauma that, you know, could require surgery. Right now, since the fight just happened, this is all brand new information. So we're just relying on the hearsay at this point. You know, you know how that goes. People have to run the proper... Um, procedural things, go to the hospital, do x-rays, and, you know, maybe speak with a specialist. So without further ado, you guys see it on the screen. It says Socket and C. That's a really weird title from the UK, but, you know, whatever. Anthony Joshua feared to have suffered socket damage, eye socket damage, right, in his fight with Alexander Usyk and a loss. So... In case you live under a rock or you didn't watch the Boxing Eagle watch party, Joshua absolutely lost to Alexander Usyk. Congrats to him, but I'll break down more of the fight in a second. Y'all got to get this news. Anthony Joshua was taken to the hospital with a suspected broken eye socket after his battering by Alexander Usyk. Promoter Eddie Hearn revealed the deposed heavyweight champ could not see out of it in the ninth round of his heavy points defeat, right? So he's saying he couldn't see. Um, we'll get to his post in a second. Joshua failed to make use of his 18 pound weight advantage, which truly was probably more than that when he rehydrated. That's just the, the day before they don't do same day wins over former cruiserweight King Usyk, who landed a barrage of heavy Southpaw shots throughout the bout at Tottenham by the 10th round of the thrilling contest. AJ had a visible black and swollen eye as Usyk took control of the bout Ukrainian Finished with flourished in the final rounds, and beyond a doubt, he got a unanimous decision. Hearn said afterwards, Joshua will go to the hospital. You guys can see that on the screen. I don't know if he has a broken eye socket, Eddie Hearn says. It doesn't look great. He said he couldn't see after the ninth round. Obviously, he was getting tagged a lot as well. His power looked like it had left him. The tank was empty. And it was only Hart which kept him on his feet in the 12th round. Hearn also said AJ would have a mandatory rematch. And the Brit felt he already knew how he could beat Usyk next time around. Really? Bro, that's Eddie Hearn. That's disrespectful. The man, we don't even know if his vision is impaired or whatever. And you're talking about a rematch. That's To me, that's disrespectful. You have to make sure your fighter's okay. I understand trying to get belts back in the next crowd and stuff. But, you know, have some heart. Hearn told BBC Radio 5 he is already talking about the rematch now. The first thing he said, I know that I could beat him. I know exactly what I have to do. Bro, that's bad. Joshua, he, I don't know. He always does this. He loses to Ruiz and he you know, feels he learned and, oh, I have the recipe now. He said that back in the changing room just now. You talk about the rematch, but do doing it is something very different. I Knowing AJ, knowing the position he's in, Knowing he will have a shot to get his belts back, there's absolutely nothing else he will do other than a match, a rematch. Joshua later posted on Instagram, which we'll get to. And, you know, that's that's the latest. So he got the Forrest Whitaker eye looking droopy on this side and 
regular on the other. AJ posted a picture flexing like he always does when he loses, and it says, keep positive even if the world is crumbling in front of you. London, I love you and thank you each and every time. You know, so he got to get checked out. That's the latest. And they believe it's damage to his eye that he sustained. Now, bad night at the office for Anthony Joshua. He was brutalized and battered by Alexander Usyk. Usyk did a great job. Got to put him on the pound for pound top three list. You know, wherever you guys want to sort him. I don't really do, me personally, I don't care about the pound for pound list. We know who's great. He's a great fighter. He's done incredible things in his career. You know, he got 20 fights or so, and he just beat a heavier, bigger Joshua. The guy had the hometown crowd advantage. Like, this is Joshua's crowd. Let's keep that in mind. And the lights, the cameras, the action, nothing deterred him. This was absolutely Alexander Usyk's night. Now he holds all the belts. I think it's shameless for Eddie Hearn to really be publicly talking about a rematch. And Joshua sounds delusional if the man sent you to the hospital and you're getting your eye checked out and he's already talking about a rematch. I understand the fighter spirit and not wanting to lose, but you got to take care of yourself. There's yet the thing about life after boxing. Now, one thing I will say, and I'm going to make a separate video about this. First of all, they stopped the, the clock early. When in the 12th round, when Joshua was getting absolutely pummeled, they stopped the the clock prematurely. So it's like they were doing everything they could to potentially rob Alexander Usyk and to prevent Joshua from getting stopped. Because in that 12th round, it was looking really bad for, for Anthony Joshua, who had been hurt several times throughout the fight. And I thought that was BS. Usyk was already up against a guy with a reach advantage, already up against a guy who's naturally bigger, who weighs more, who's taller than you, crowd hometown advantage, promoter advantage, because Usyk, I don't think he's actually tethered solely to rematch room. You know, I think his deal with Eddie Hearn ended, even though they have a rematch clause, right? So it was everything to, for Joshua was, everything was in his favor including the commentary and I, I i'm i'm really going to try to make a separate video about this so check back on the channel subscribe if you like boxing content my name is ego this is your one-stop shop for really all your boxing needs the commentary on this particular telecast from the zone was bloody awful it was horrible if you listen to the commentary and it's so disrespectful to the boxing fans who really love this sport because we don't need you to make up what you want to be happening. We need you to be realistic and tell us what literally is happening. Joshua, first of all, Ricky Hatton's son is not good. That's just my honest opinion. They said he won his fight, he really lost. He's not that good. And he looked like Slim Jesus. So he's not that good. Who is Slim G? He tell me he don't look like Slim Jesus. Please, I want someone to look. He don't look like Slim Jesus. Hold on. Slim Jesus. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Look. Bro, he doing drill music. That's him. That's him. Told you he looked like Slim Jesus. And he's not that good. He's just surviving off of the, the surname of Hatton. Look. Slim Jesus. Told you over so anywho the commentary was so disrespectful tonight on the zone i that really bothers me because as i just mentioned Usyk was up against everything else joshua hometown crowd joshua bigger supposed to be stronger more fights at the weight he had the promoter this was his promoter's card and show and all that and they disrespected Usyk throughout the entirety of the broadcast they continually made the fight sound as if Usyk was doing very little or tired or having no success these various things and I was watching the same fight and I'm like how how do you guys what are you seeing from Joshua I thought Joshua looked extremely poor probably one of the poorest performances that he's turned in including the Andy Ruiz fight I thought he looked far worse because even with the Ruiz situation, he wasn't even supposed to fight Andy Ruiz. 
So that was like you can you can at least give him credit and say, okay, you switched and you fought someone that you initially weren't intending to fight. So I at least give you credit for that. You had a full camp for Usyk. Usyk had a full camp for you, and I thought he looked. I thought he, I thought he looked bad. Thought he looked bad, and that's why his eye was given out. You guys will see on the thumbnail. Make sure you like this video and check out the thumbnail. It just his eye was going away, and it was from repeated. As I was talking about, go check my boxing ego watch party. It's published now on the channel. Please go. I'll put at the end of this video. I'll put a link to the video. Please stay tuned after this video and go skim through that or watch it, at least the part with the main event. They were trying their best to make it look like Joshua was doing these incredible things. It was it was not his night. Usyk, as I was saying in my watch party, he was boxing beautifully, creating angles, fainting. He was in total control. And this is why you see Joshua's face in the condition that it's in. And now they're saying it's a broken orbital. I got more questions about that. How come this keeps happening to UK fighters? Daniel Dubois, Billy Joe Saunders, Kel Brook, Anthony Joshua, right? And now, and Billy Joe Saunders. That's five UK fighters. What's in the water? What are they doing? What are they putting in their body where their faces are collapsing upon impact? I understand boxing is brutal. It's a very brutal sport. But why is this particular injury broken shot this is bone we're talking about shattered and you look at peds there are some peds that you take that could change and influence your bone density look it up so that's highly concerning for me but i'll save most of that for another video subscribe to the channel so you can be on the lookout for that but joshua i wish him a speedy recovery i never want to see a fighter you know errol spence got a torn retina joshua got a broken orbital i definitely wish these guys a speedy recovery i never want to see a fighter um you know leave the game on injuries and stuff you, that's not anything you want to see but as far as performance wise Usyk did his thing and joshua it was not his night despite what the commentary was saying and how they were trying to let him back into the fight. It just, it wasn't going on. Now he has a broken orbital, which is indicative of the commentary I was giving. For more videos, stay tuned. As always, hey, comment and subscribe to the next videos, Ego. Do you want more content? Make sure you follow my socials on Twitter, at Boxing Ego, and Instagram, at Boxing Ego One. Yeah. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster.